What's going on guys? Today we are going to be talking about my top five favorite scary movies. So starting out at number five, we have the movie You're Next. During a family reunion out in the country, a group of people with creepy animal masks decide to try and break in to their house and try to kill the people inside. It's almost like this movie is uh, Home Alone if it was R-rated. This movie is home to one of my favorite kills and it has a very interesting ending. Number four, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. This movie is actually a masterpiece. This is a comedy horror about two hillbillies, Tucker and Dale, who go on vacation into a cabin in the woods. In these woods, they are mistaken for killers by the teenagers who are also there. So this movie is just so brilliant. It takes all the tropes about horror and just the entire genre and flips it on its head and turns it around. This makes the movie super fun from start to finish. There's tons of humor, there's tons of over the top gore, and of course, who doesn't love Alan Tudyk? Are you okay? Sorry if I said his name wrong. Number three, Happy Death Day. In this movie, a college student has to relive the day that she is murdered over and over and over again until she can figure out who the killer is. The reason this is so high on my list is because it combines a whole lot of my favorite types of movies. So it's a little bit of a whodunit. It's also a, like a time travel, time loop movie, as well as a comedy, as well as a horror. It's just like really uh, encapsulates a lot of genres, but it does it very well. So you can hear now. <laughs> So watch this movie and see if you can figure out who the killer is before she does. Coming in at number two is the Scream series. Now I know, I know the first ending was kind of like, mm, but if you have no idea what Scream is, guess what? It's another whodunit. If you've seen my other video, you know that I love whodunits for some reason. So this movie series is from Wes Craven, who also did Nightmare on Elm Street and The Hills Have Eyes. After her mother is murdered, a girl is terrorized by a new killer who targets her and her friends by using horror films as part of the game. I think the reason that I like these movies so much is because it is a slasher. However, it's grounded in reality, whereas a lot of like popular slashers like Friday the 13th and Halloween and all that, like the killer is kind of like superhuman. So I really respect the fact that they made this one a lot more realistic. And of course, because of Courtney Cox bangs, you gotta love that. As we approach number one, let me know. Uh, What's your favorite scary movie? So we're gonna move on to honorable mentions. I don't really have an honorable mentions list. I have a bunch that I would love to say, but like I said, I can make a whole nother video. Um, for the honorable mentions, I actually just wanted to talk about cult classic remakes that I really love because there's so many, I couldn't really just label them in this list of five. So I'm just gonna throw them out there real quick. I'm not gonna talk about the story because I feel like everyone kind of knows the general uh, story of these characters. First is the 2007 remake of Halloween by Rob Zombie. I know that might be like the white trash version, because it's a Rob Zombie movie, but like I absolutely love this movie and I watch it every year. It shows Michael as a kid and it gives a whole new perspective and backstory to him and the soundtrack is just phenomenal. The 2009 remake of Friday the 13th, it's got Jared Padalecki and Daniel Panabaker, so you know it's gonna be a fun movie, right? They kind of take a little bit of a different approach to Jason just because he uses so many more things to kill people than just his machete. Next is the 2013 remake of Texas Chainsaw. Now, I know what you're thinking, this is only on my list because of Alexandra Daddario, and that's not the reason it's on here, although that definitely does not hurt. Overall, I feel like this story was a little bit more enjoyable than the other stories. However, the earlier remakes with Jessica Biel and Matt Bomber, those movies are actually really good as well. Just maybe stay away from like the newer ones, like Leatherface, like. And then in 2017, we got the remake of it. Now this one's self-explanatory, it blew up, but this is, this is the most beautifully shot or movie I've ever seen. It's so beautiful, it's so terrifying. Go ahead and give it a watch. Now in the number one spot, we have The Strangers. After a wedding reception, a troubled couple, Liv Tyler and Scott Speedman, stay in an isolated vacation house. After there's this mysterious knock on the door, is Tamara here? The couple must survive the violent struggle that ensues against three strangers wearing masks trying to break in and kill them. While there's no over-the-top superhuman killers in this movie, although that old sack mask is quite terrifying, I find this to be the scariest movie that I've ever seen. It masters the art of suspense and uneasiness 
throughout this entire movie to never let you feel truly safe. Oh, and it's based off of a real story, so make sure that you all lock your doors tonight. So that's my top five list. I have a whole bunch more movies that I want to talk about. So let me know if you want to see a part two. Subscribe, drop a like, and I will see you guys next time.